Let's be honest, we're all slice of the social media's algorithms. They know more about us than we might actually know or our family and friends. to the studio. Today I would really briefly like to address something because this morning, as almost every morning, I checked Instagram and something changed. I don't know if it just changed for me, if it just changed for people in Germany that update or just some persons. I think Instagram tested something and is spreading it to more and more people. You see I just scrolled down five six posts and then this comes you're up to speed, you've seen everything new, and then it starts like suggesting me stuff, people, posts that I don't follow, that I'm actually not really interested in. I don't even know who these people are. Nothing of this is interesting. Maybe some studio stuff. Yeah, because Instagram knows what I like as a producer and DJ. But I don't, I, I don't want that. I didn't ask for this. Like Instagram was for me, like the one place where I can check what my friends are doing. Kind of staying connected to them, sometimes writing them if they post something funny or nice, or like, I don't know, some great food or a new song of them, congratulating them, all that kind of stuff. But now it's just like, random people. I mean, who are these people? I, I, I didn't sign up for that. Let's be honest, we're all slaves of the social media's algorithms. They know more about us than we might actually know or our family and friends. Just one example. There was an incident, a 16 year old or maybe even younger girl, she got a lot of advertisement for pregnancy stuff, becoming a mother kind of things. And her dad saw that and was not really amused that such a young girl got stuff like this. At the end, it turned out she was actually pregnant and never told her parents. She was like Googling stuff, buying certain pills you need during the pregnancy. That's crazy. At first sight, this might actually be a good thing even because you're not depending that much on having subscribers, followers. Content is just pushed based on interest and the people that consume it get more of the stuff that they actually want to consume. But it skews like the, the creator's minds because they make something that they think is good and then just doesn't perform and then they adapt to make something that performs. So the creators are the slaves of the algorithm creating stuff that just works based on whatever the platform is suggesting. Quick example, Spotify. A lot of music is getting shorter because you get paid for 30 seconds plus, not six minutes plus. If you change that to everyone gets five times as much money if the song is four minutes plus, I can bet you every single song from today on will be four minutes plus long. That gives those companies a lot of power. And you could argue that it's up to the creator to just do what they feel like and push it but that's not how it works. If you don't follow, your stuff doesn't surface. No one sees it. It gets buried in the millions and millions of songs, videos, posts that are created every single day. So before it's for me back to work making music, let me know what you think about this. Does the algorithm just give the people what they want and the people creating should just follow what people want? Should we have higher standards and, and keeping integrity and trying to educate the people with the content that is being created? Or do we just become 24 seven cat video watching lemmings? I'm so absolutely excited. I, I, I rushed really here to the city center to pick something up, something very important, gear, more gear. I know, but this one extra special. I almost forgot my mask. Juri, dann vielen Dank dafür. Gerne. Viel Spaß damit, Herr Mann. Danke. Ah, 
I'm so, so, so excited. It's a new camera, A7S III. It's almost sold out entirely. I got one of five copies in, in the city at that place. It's expensive, it will replace my current camera. This is the dream camera I've been waiting for three years. It has everything I need and a lot more of the quirks and things I don't like about this one and all of the previous ones I owned, all of it is solved with this one. And I know I said no more gear, but tomorrow's my birthday in just six hours, less than six hours. I'm at an age where you just buy yourself really good stuff and use your birthday as an excuse to spend way too much but i think i will actually wait with the unboxing until midnight to make it like a proper birthday feeling kind of thing by the way speaking of birthday um and also back to that social media topic there is like one thing and I hate doing it. Like you might have noticed in my videos, I actually almost never, I'd say out of 20 videos or 30 videos, maybe one time I ask people to subscribe. Cause I usually think if people like something enough, they will think themselves about subscribing, but that's actually not really the case. You have to remind people. And I think if I would tell everyone to subscribe in every single video I make, I might have twice as many subscribers. I don't really know. But uh, yeah, if you want to make me a little present, Feel free to subscribe if you like the content here on this channel. If you're new, check maybe out another video before subscribing. I only want to have people here that are actually generally interested. And the bell icon for all the ones that are already subscribed. And yeah, now... I can't wait. Oh. Let's hope the battery is charged. Nah, but I've been keeping <laughs> an extra battery for the past months, just, just in case it arrives. The entire camera is capable of putting out Netflix-like quality, in theory, if you know what you're doing and it's a lot smaller like i mean this is already quite big but the one i'm using right now is a lot bigger it's recording hello i will now test the shit out of this thing set everything up and tomorrow you're invited to follow along enjoy the first vlog with the new camera i can't wait i i, I can't wait